Podbeam. Polynomial. Binomial. Don't forget to use your full numerical coefficient. Hi, class. Welcome to a brand new unit called Polynomials. Yeah, we're going to review and we're going to preview polynomials with this unit. If you don't know what a polynomial is, I'm going to be telling you about it. But we're going to spend time adding and subtracting polynomials. You're going to do some multiplication of two binomials, multiplication of polynomials, and of course we're going to get into problem solving as well. So we want to do a little warm up here. Okay, we're going to remember a few things that we learned in the past. One is a variable. Well, a variable is a letter that represents one or more numbers. We've got algebraic expressions, that's uh, stuff like this. All right, and then we've got this idea about a monomial. All right, ma meaning like, you know, one. So we've got these things. Whether it's a number or a letter, these are all terms and they're all monomials. Okay, they've got positive exponents and they've got some variables but not always a variable you could have some without a variable oh yeah you got my favorite word the numerical coefficient we talk about these numbers as being numerical coefficients whatever is in front of the variable and then we got the idea of the polynomial okay so a polynomial is either a monomial or the sum or difference of monomials so you you get uh, stuff like this you're going to get 6 plus x you know that's kind of a standard polynomial well, you also can have trinomials, which is a polynomial, poly meaning many, and that's when you got like x squared minus 5x plus 9 or minus 9. So that's your standard polynomial as well. Well, what is a polynomial? What is not a polynomial? You can't have these negative exponents, okay? So when you were asked up here, explain why 5 over x plus 3 is not a polynomial, that's because 5 over x is really 5x to the minus 1. Uh-oh, we've got a negative exponent, not a polynomial. All right, so negative exponents, no way. If you've got a variable in the denominator, uh-uh. And also, if you've got uh, square roots, nope. Okay, because uh, that was radicals. That's what we were talking about before. But yes, this is a polynomial. It's a monomial. You don't have a plus or a minus, but it still is a polynomial. Okay, so you got one or more than one term separated by plus minus sign. Okay, and I've pretty much explained all these. Monomial, binomial, that's two terms, and then trinomial, three terms. Once you get up to four, you just call it a polynomial. So what I want you to do is uh, take a look at these expressions here. I want you to press pause and figure out what they are. Are they polynomials, binomials, and state whether the polynomial is one of these things. Okay, hit pause now. Okay, here we go with the answers. The first one is a yes, it is a polynomial, and it's a binomial, it's got two terms. Second one, no, not a polynomial, it's got an exponent right here that is not a positive integer. Okay, you got a half here, so that's not an integer, it's not uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, this is yes, this is a trinomial. You got three terms here uh, separated by a minus and a plus. Over here, this is a no. Okay, we've got an exponent here that is not a positive integer. It's a point 0.2 that is positive, but it's not an integer. And over here is a no again. You've got your negative one exponent. You got uh, a variable in the denominator. All right, why don't you give class exercise number two a go, completing the table. Tell me the number of variables, number of terms, and the name of the polynomial. Go for it. Well, here we go with this exercise. The first one, we've got three different variables, the x, y, z, three variables, two terms. Okay, separated with this positive, we'll call it a binomial. The second one, we've got three different variables, a, b, and c, and uh, three different terms. So we call it a trinomial. This one has one variable. It's just got the x's, okay? Three different terms, call it a trinomial. Right here, we've got one variable, all right? One term, so we call it a monomial. And right here as well, we've got two variables. We've got the x and the y, and we've got four terms. One, two, three, and four. We just call it a polynomial. We don't call it a quad 
polynomial. All right, now polynomials can be classified according to de degree, okay? The degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents of its variables. So if you look at this, 2x to the fifth has a degree of 5, okay? Negative 2 thirds ab cubed c squared has a degree of 6. Well, that's your 1 plus 3 plus 2. And you've got this 1. It's a to the 1. You don't have to put the 1 there, but it still counts, okay? So the degree of a polynomial is the degree of the term with the highest degree. So in this case, you got 5. Why? Because you've got, well, that's 4. That's 4, but that's going to be 5, okay? So if a polynomial has a term of degree 0, uh, 0, there is no variable present. This term is called a constant term. You heard this in grade 7. I know you did. So when you have something like this, a constant term right here, okay, is negative 2. Okay, it's constant. It does not change. All right. So I want you to give class exercise number 3 a go. Why don't you give me an example of a binomial of degree 1 in one variable. Trinomial, monomial, do all this, press pause, now go for it. All right, here are some examples of what I asked you to do. A binomial of degree 1 in one variable. Well, here's a degree 1 in one of the variables. How about a trinomial? Okay, so I need three terms uh, of two variables with a constant term. I've got my constant term right there. I've got uh, two variables, the x and the y over here, a monomial, so just one term of degree 6 with a numerical coefficient of 9. We put that numerical coefficient in there. We've got a degree of 6. All right, here we've got a binomial of degree 8. That's 4 plus 4 with each term containing two variables. We've got our two variables here. We've got the x, y and the s, t. Okay. So here's a little bit more information about polynomials. We've got polynomials in a single variable. Polynomials in a single variable are usually arranged in ascending or descending order of the powers of the variable. And the leading coefficient of a polynomial in a single variable is the coefficient of the term with the highest power. So if you have something like, uh, let's say, 3x plus uh, 2x squared, well, this is the right here is the coefficient, that's a squared right there, that's a 2 and a 3. This is the coefficient with the term that has the highest power. The, the power is 3, so the leading coefficient would be 2. Even though a 3 is bigger than a 2, we're looking for what has the highest power. So I want you to try class exercise number 4. Consider the polynomial expression, this, and write these. Go for it now. Okay, we're back first. Write the polynomial in descending powers of x would look like that. In ascending powers of x, which is what we normally see, it would look like that. Okay, the leading coefficient, as I mentioned, would be minus 4. And the constant term is 7 here. Okay, and actually it's a minus 7. And then the numerical coefficient of the term x squared, well, that is 6 over 5. All right. Now, you've seen algebra tiles before, I'm sure. Well, we're going to be using algebra tiles to help us with polynomials, okay? But we first have to define them. The square is 1, okay? This length of unknown amount is x. And then now we have this large square as being x squared squared. And so we can take these and we can use them and define polynomials with these squares. The first thing, class exercise 5, I want you to actually 5 and 6, I want you to tell me right here what the polynomial expressions are that these diagrams describe. And then I want you to use algebra tiles to determine the result of the addition question here. All right, go for it. In class exercise number five, what we have here, this is a negative, and it's an x squared, so that's negative x squared, plus 2x, plus 1, and I wrote it right here. Here we have 2x squared, 
and it's only minus 1. Why did I do that? Well, we have a negative x and we have a plus x. Well, these kind of cancel each other out. Actually, there's more canceling done here. All that's left over is the minus 1. And so if we wanted to use algebra tiles to determine what this question would be, we want to simplify. We want to add like terms. So let's see if I can do this. I'm going to take these terms. Well, that's 2x squared. Okay, add another one here so that's going to be 3x squared okay now let's take a look at how many x's we have well all we have are these uh, two minus x's all right and then we're going to put these terms together here so we've got a plus one uh, and then see if I can drag this over yeah we got a minus one and then we have these two here Okay, and those two cancel each other out, make a zero pair. And so what I see here is 3x squared minus 2x minus 2. Okay, and that's how we figure out the results of the addition question here. Okay, what I'm going to not do is I'm not going to have you do class exercise 7. I'm just going to head over to the addition and subtraction of polynomial expressions. Basically what we're doing here is we're putting like terms together. All right, so like terms would be in this instance, you know, anything that has a numerical coefficient in front of an A. So those are like terms, okay? Well, whatever this is, if, it, if it's x to the three, right, x cubed, then all of these are the numerical coefficients and we can put those together. Well, unlike terms, are things like this. Well, this is x to the 3. Well, this is x squared. And this is plain x. These are unlike terms. And then also, if they're different variables, unlike terms, we cannot add unlike terms together. Okay, Only like terms can be added or, or subtracted. So what I want you to do, I don't want you to do class exercise number 9. Maybe save that for a little bit later. Let's do class exercise number 8. I want you to simplify the following polynomials by collecting like terms. Give it a go. Press pause now. Okay, here we have all the terms split up. Uh, we've got this 3a here, and then we got minus 3a. Well, those are going to cancel each other out. We've got a minus 4b, and what other b's do we have? Oh, we have a plus 3b, so that's going to give us a minus b. And then we have a plus c and a minus 5c which would give us a minus 4c. So when we collect like terms, this is going to be minus b minus 4c. In this case, we've got them all lined up, so it's not really much of a problem. We're subtracting, so 4 minus 2 is 2. That's going to be 2x squared. And then we have a minus 9 minus a negative 6. Okay, And we know that when we're subtracting a negative, we're basically adding. Okay, so but we start with minus 9, we're going to add 3. We're down to minus 6x, and then we've got a plus 6, take away a negative 1. We're taking away negativity, so we're adding, so it's going to be a plus 7. All right, so that is your first lesson on polynomials. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something.